The 2019 NBA Draft was a spectacle of hope, hype, and extremely high expectations. It was touted as one of the most talented drafts in recent memory. It was supposed to bring a blend of college superstars to the forefront. We had the Duke powerhouse trio led by Zion Williamson, an electrifying young guard out of Murray State in John Morant, and plenty of other young stars in the making. This draft night was filled with excitement, surprises, and moves that would shape the future of the NBA. But fast forward to how this draft has panned out five years later, is it safe to say that this class has been underwhelming? Let's break it all down. With just a 6% chance of getting the first pick, the Pelicans struck gold with Zion Williamson, who was the undisputed first overall pick in his class. Zion Williamson was not just a highly touted prospect, he was a phenomenon. From his high school days, Zion was a viral sensation with mixtapes featuring thunderous dunks and jaw-dropping athleticism. His physical attributes, a 6'6", 285-pound frame, combined with a 45-inch vertical leap set him apart as a once-in-a-generation athlete. At Duke, Zion's hype reached a fever pitch. Playing under coach Mike Krzyzewski, Zion averaged 22.6 points and 8.9 rebounds per game, earning the Naismith College Player of the Year award. The media frenzy around Zion was unprecedented, with analysts projecting him as a future MVP and a transformative player for any franchise. Comparisons to LeBron James and Charles Barkley were common, emphasizing his potential to be both a superstar and and a cultural icon. Zion's entry into the NBA had an immense amount of buzz around it, and it was marked by his extraordinary athleticism, explosive dunks, and an inevitable aura. Despite battling injuries, Zion showcased his immense potential, averaging over 25 points per game in his sophomore season, and his impact on the Pelicans has been profound, but is he really their cornerstone franchise of the future? It might still be too early to tell. Ja Morant, the electrifying guard from Murray State, was selected second overall by the Grizzlies. Ja's rookie season was nothing short of spectacular, earning him the NBA Rookie of the Year honors. Known for his elite athleticism, agility, and fearless play, Ja quickly became the face of Memphis, leading them to a playoff berth and rejuvenating the franchise's prospects. In his third season, Morant led the Grizzlies to a 56-26 record in the second seed in the Western Conference averaging 27.4 points, 6.7 assists, and 5.7 rebounds per game. But ever since that playoff loss to the Lakers in that playoff series, his career has faced challenges. We all know about the multiple off-court issues from not just one gun video, but two, which garnered a massive suspension, and he suffered a notable knee injury upon his return. Despite these hurdles, Ja's potential to be a defining player for his generation remains clear. But will the off-the-court issues keep him away from being a star? The Knicks picked R.J. Barrett from Duke with the third pick. Barrett, a versatile swingman, showed flashes of brilliance and steady improvement. Known for his scoring ability and defensive potential, Barrett became a key piece in the Knicks' rebuilding efforts, contributing significantly to their return to playoff contention. From his rookie season, Barrett showed promise, averaging 14.3 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.6 assists per game. By his third season, he was averaging over 20 points per game, playing a crucial role in the Knicks' return to the playoffs in 2021. His development as a two-way player was key to the Knicks' rebuilding process, but during the 2023 season, Barrett took a back seat to Jalen Brunson and became seen as a trade option to acquire a better version of him. Therefore, he was traded to the Toronto Raptors for OG and Anubi. While RJ hasn't bloomed into a star yet like many hoped, it does offer him a fresh start in his home city. But even with this new start, as of now, there's no doubt that RJ has not lived up to his top three pick status. Initially selected fourth by the Lakers, DeAndre Hunter was traded to the Hawks on draft night. Hunter, a defensive-minded wing from Virginia, brought versatility and toughness to Atlanta's young core. His ability to guard multiple positions and contribute offensively made him an intricate part of the Hawks' surprising playoff run in 2021. During the Hawks' playoff run, 
run in 2021, Hunter's defense against top scorers and his offensive contributions were crucial. Despite injuries, he played a significant role in helping Atlanta reach the Eastern Conference Finals. But ever since, DeAndre Hunter's role has not had the emergence that many would have expected being a top five pick just five years ago. He's still seen as a piece of the Hawks' future, but a lot is still uncertain depending on what happens with the Hawks' backcourt duo and what they decide to do with the first overall pick in the 2024 NBA Draft. The Cavaliers took a chance on Darius Garland, a dynamic guard from Vanderbilt with the fifth overall pick. Despite a rocky start due to injuries, Garland developed into a proficient scorer and playmaker. He made his first All-Star appearance in 2022, but has not made the team since. Garland has taken a back seat to Donovan Mitchell, and with the Cavs' playoff struggles and coaching change this offseason, there's a chance that Garland is dealt in the near future. Overall, he has been a solid pick for the Cavs and looks to continue to grow as a young player. Jared Culver, a standout from Texas Tech, was picked by the Suns with the sixth overall pick, but was then traded to the Timberwolves. Culver struggled to find any sort of consistency in the NBA and became the biggest bust of the 2019 class. There's not much else to say besides that he was a major bust. The Bulls selected Kobe White, the speedy guard from North Carolina, with the seventh pick. Kobe has had a resurgence this past season, jumping his scoring totals up significantly, and was even in the conversation for the Most Improved Player award, although he would lose out to Tyrese Maxey. His development into a reliable scorer and playmaker was crucial for the Bulls as they looked to build a competitive roster. The Bills will look to see if Lonzo Ball can come back healthy and take on that lead guard role or stick with Kobe after a very impressive season. Jackson Hayes, an athletic big man from Texas, was picked by the Hawks with the eighth overall pick, but was then traded to the Pelicans. Hayes showcased his shot blocking and rim running abilities, providing a dynamic presence. He was then moved to the Lakers, where his high energy and defensive prowess continued to make an impact on both ends of the floor, enhancing the team's interior defense and transition play. Rui Hachimura, the versatile forward from Gonzaga, was selected by the Wizards with the ninth overall pick. Hachimura quickly became a reliable scorer and defender, blending his mid-range prowess with a strong work ethic. His cultural impact as a Japanese player in the NBA also drew significant attention. After being traded to the Lakers, Hachimura continued to shine, contributing to the team's success with his scoring ability, defensive versatility, and high basketball IQ. His presence added depth to the Lakers' roster, enhancing their playoff aspirations and solidifying his role as a key player on both ends of the floor. The Hawks took a chance on Cam Reddish, the third man in the trio from Duke, with the 10th overall pick. Reddish's defensive potential and scoring flashes showed promise as he often demonstrated the ability to guard multiple positions with his length and athleticism. His defensive upside includes strong lateral movement, quick hands, and the capacity to disrupt opponents' offenses. However, his development was marred by injuries and inconsistency, particularly with his shooting, which was thought to be his biggest strength coming into the NBA. Reddish struggled with his shooting efficiency, often displaying streaky performances from beyond the arc and inconsistent scoring outputs. Despite these challenges, his future remains intriguing given his considerable upside and potential to become a well-rounded player if he can overcome these hurdles. Cam Johnson, the sharpshooter from North Carolina, was picked by the Timberwolves and traded to the Suns with the 11th overall pick. Johnson's three-point shooting and mature game made him an immediate contributor, playing a key role in the Suns' journey to the 2021 NBA Finals. His ability to space the floor and knock down critical shots provided Phoenix with a reliable offensive weapon. In February of 2023, Johnson was part of the blockbuster trade that sent himself, Mikkel Bridges, and a plethora of draft picks to the Nets for Kevin Durant. His impact on the Nets has been significant as he continued to showcase his sharp shooting skills and provided veteran leadership. His presence on the Nets has helped to stabilize their young roster, and his shooting has opened up the floor for his teammates, making him a valuable asset in their rebuilding process. 
The Hornets selected P.J. Washington from Kentucky with the 12th overall pick. P.J.'s versatility as a forward, coupled with his shooting and defensive skills, made him a valuable piece for Charlotte's young core. His ability to stretch the floor and guard multiple positions was crucial. In a significant move, P.J. was part of a trade to the Dallas Mavericks. This trade was aimed at bolstering the Mavericks' core around Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving as they eyed a deep playoff run. P.J.'s impact on the Mavericks has been substantial. His three-point shooting and defensive prowess have provided Dallas with much-needed floor spacing and defensive flexibility. His ability to guard multiple positions has allowed the Mavericks to implement more dynamic defensive schemes, while his scoring and rebounding have added another dimension to their offense. During the Mavericks' playoff run, Washington has played a pivotal role, consistently contributing both offensively and defensively. His performance has helped the team make the finals making him an immense part of their postseason success. His presence on the team has not only improved their chances of winning, but also solidified his reputation as a key player for the Mavs moving forward. Tyler Hero was taken by the Heat with the 13th overall pick. Hero burst onto the scene with his scoring and playmaking, becoming a key figure in Miami's run to the 2020 NBA Finals. His clutch performances and swagger made him a standout rookie. In 2022, Hero won the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award, solidifying his role as a crucial player off the bench. His ability to provide instant offense and his impressive playoff performances have been instrumental in the Heat's multiple deep playoff runs making him a cornerstone of Miami's success and future ambitions. To wrap up the lottery, the Celtics picked Romeo Langford with the 14th overall pick. Langford struggled with injuries and inconsistency, making it difficult for him to secure a stable role in Boston's rotation. His potential, however, remained a topic of interest. As of 2024, Romeo Langford has experienced significant changes in his career. After his stint with the Boston Celtics, Langford was traded to the San Antonio Spurs in 2022. Too. Despite showing flashes of his potential, injuries continued to hinder his development. In 2023, he signed with the Utah Jazz, but was waived shortly after. Currently, Langford plays for the Salt Lake City Stars in the NBA G League, where he aims to revitalize his career and showcase his talents for a potential return to the NBA. The Pistons selected Sekou Dombaya with the 15th overall pick, a raw forward from France. He initially showed potential with his athleticism and defensive skills, but struggled to find a consistent role with the Pistons. After stints with the Brooklyn Nets and Los Angeles Lakers and playing in the G League, Dombouya returned to France in 2024, signing with the Metropolitans 92 and the Betclic Elite League. He has been working to regain his form and make a significant impact in the French League. The Magic selected Chuma Okiki with the 16th overall pick. Despite an ACL injury, the Magic still had faith to pick him and spent his first year rehabbing. Upon his return, he showed promise with his defensive versatility and shooting. As of 2024, Okiki continues to be a bench player for the Magic, contributing with his all-around game and trying to find a role in their rotation. The Nets selected Nikhil Alexander Walker with the 17th overall pick, but was later traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. Nikhil Alexander Walker, known for his scoring and playmaking, was provided valuable minutes off the bench. By 2024, he has become a significant contributor with the Timberwolves, showing potential as a future starter and enhancing his role within the team's guard rotation. He was a key defensive wing during the Timberwolves' playoff run this past season. The Pacers selected Goga Bidatse with the 18th overall pick. He faced a limited playing time behind Indiana's established big men, and as of 2024, Bidatse has found more opportunities to showcase his shot blocking and shooting capabilities, earning a more consistent role with the Magic and proving to be a reliable backup center. The Spurs selected Luka Samanic with the 19th overall pick. Luka has spent much of his early career developing in the G League. In 2024, he is on the Jazz, occasionally contributing to the main roster, but primarily continuing his development. His potential with shooting and athleticism keeps him on the radar for a breakout season. 
The Boston Celtics selected Matisse Thybul with the 20th pick, who was later traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. Matisse Thybul quickly made a name for himself in Philly with his elite defensive skills. He made the all-defensive second team in his second and third seasons and was seen as a very valuable defensive wing for a while. Unfortunately, his offensive game is still ways behind. And in 2024, Thybul is with the Trailblazers and is still a solid perimeter defender in the league. The Oklahoma City Thunder selected Brandon Clark with the 21st pick, who was then traded to the Memphis Grizzlies. Brandon Clark's energy, rebounding, and efficiency made him an immediate contributor for the Grizzlies. In 2024, Clark continues to play a significant role, complementing John Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr., and remains an integral part of Memphis's playoff aspirations. The Boston Celtics selected Grant Williams with the 22nd pick. Grant Williams' versatility, basketball IQ, and defensive prowess have made him a valuable rotational player for the Celtics. But as of 2024, Williams had quite a falloff, as he had chemistry issues in Dallas and is now trying to find a role in Charlotte after being there for PJ Washington, a deal that Dallas definitely seems to be benefiting from now. The Utah Jazz selected Darius Baisley with the 23rd pick, who was traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Darius Baisley's athleticism and potential were evident, though his development was marked by inconsistency. By 2024, Baisley is now on the Jazz, becoming a more reliable player and showcasing his ability to contribute both offensively and defensively. The Philadelphia 76ers selected Ty Jerome with the 24th pick, who was traded to the Phoenix Suns. Jerome provided solid backup minutes with his shooting and playmaking. In 2024, Jerome played just two games for the Cavs and is struggling to find a role in the NBA. The Portland Trailblazers selected Nasir Little with the 25th pick. Nasir Little was a standout wing out of high school and played his college ball at UNC. He was not the star at UNC that many expected, which made him fall out of the lottery to the 25th pick. Little showed potential with his defense and rebounding, but struggled with consistency and injuries. By 2024, he plays just about 10 minutes per game for the Phoenix Suns and looks to help the Suns' big three that is desperate for depth that can contribute. The Cleveland Cavaliers selected Dylan Windler with the 26th pick. Dylan Windler's early career was hampered by injuries limiting his impact. He played three years for the Cavs from 2021 to 2023, but as of 2024, Windler has bounced around three different teams and has only managed to play in 27 games. Playing just 12 minutes per game in eight games with the Atlanta Hawks toward the end of the season, it'll be interesting to see if he can carve out a role in Atlanta. The Brooklyn Nets selected Fiondu Kabungeli with the 27th pick, who was traded to the LA Clippers. Kabungeli showed flashes of shot blocking and three-point shooting, but struggled to secure a consistent role. By 2024, he's now out of the NBA and plays overseas in Italy. The Golden State Warriors selected Jordan Poole with the 28th pick. Jordan Poole's early struggles eventually gave way to a breakout third season in 2022. He was a key part of the Warriors' championship in 2022, but as we all know, he was shipped to Washington in 2024, and the Draymond punch was probably a key factor in him being sent off. In 2024, Poole struggled to have the same success he had in Golden State, being the lead guard in Washington. But even still, for what he has accomplished in his career being the 28th pick is impressive. I know a lot of people like to clown Poole, but he is far more accomplished than any non-lottery picks drafted ahead of him in this draft. The San Antonio Spurs selected Keldon Johnson with the 29th pick. Johnson quickly made an impact with his energy, athleticism, and scoring ability. By 2024, Johnson has become a key player for the Spurs, showing significant improvements in his shooting and defense and is seen as a growing asset in the Spurs' future to build around Wemby. His versatility and tenacity make him a foundational piece for the Spurs' future. The Milwaukee Bucks selected Kevin Porter Jr. with the 30th pick, who was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. KPJ displayed flashes of brilliance with his scoring and playmaking early in his career, but faced legal issues off the court. After his stints with the Cavs and Rockets, he found a new start in the Greek League, where he continues to show promise and work on his game, aiming for a potential return to the NBA.
Aside from the first round, there are plenty of second round picks and even undrafted players from this class that have made a significant impact in the NBA so far. Some of these guys are key bench players and even starters for a lot of these teams. So to kick off some notable second round picks in this draft, we have Nick Claxton. He was selected with the first pick in the second round by the Nets. Claxton's defensive prowess, shot blocking, and ability to switch onto smaller players make him a valuable defensive anchor. His development into the team's starting center has been huge for the Nets' highly uncertain future. Another second round talent from this draft is Daniel Gafford. Gafford quickly established himself as a solid rim protector and rebounder. His energy and hustle plays made him a valuable bench player, and he eventually became a key contributor for the Dallas Mavericks after being traded there this past deadline. He's played a role on a team in the NBA Finals, which is definitely exceeding expectations considering some of these first round picks in this draft are out of the league. The final second round talent who has made an impact from this draft is Terrence Mann. Mann's strong work ethic, defensive tenacity, and ability to contribute offensively made him an integral part of the Clippers' rotation. His breakout 39-point performance in Game 6 in the second round of the 2021 playoffs helped the Clippers advance to their first ever Western Conference Finals appearance. Even aside from the second round, there are even undrafted players from this class that have made a significant impact in the NBA so far. Nas Reed went undrafted in this draft. Yeah, this year's sixth man of the year. He signed with the Minnesota Timberwolves and has become the most impactful undrafted player from the 2019 class. His ability to score, rebound, and defend off the bench provided the Timberwolves with a significant boost. Reed's journey from undrafted to a key rotational player has been an inspiring story that doesn't get enough recognition in the media. Another undrafted player from this draft who has carved a role in the NBA is Lug Dort. Immediately after signing with the Oklahoma City Thunder, Dort made an immediate impact with his tenacious defense. He became a starter and one of the best perimeter defenders in the league, earning a reputation for his lockdown defense. Caleb Martin even went undrafted in this draft and found a home with the Miami Heat. Martin's versatility, three-point shooting, and defensive prowess made him a valuable contributor off the bench. His ability to step up in last year's playoffs against the Celtics in the 2023 Eastern Conference Finals was historic considering he was undrafted. He still provides a nice scoring punch for the Heat and looks to expand his role more in the future. The 2019 NBA Draft was packed with talent and potential, with many players making significant impacts on their team. From the high expectations of Zion Williamson and Ja Morant, to the steady development of players like Tyler Hero and Jordan Poole, this draft class has proven to be one of the most interesting draft classes due to the fact that there is still lots of room for improvement with a lot of these players. Even with a lot of the first round being underwhelming, the second round picks like Nick Claxton, Daniel Gafford, and Terrence Mann, and undrafted players like Nas Reed, Luke Dort, and Caleb Martin further showcased the depth and unpredictability of the draft, proving that talent can emerge from anywhere. But what are your overall thoughts on the 2019 NBA Draft? Do you think that this draft has overperformed, underperformed, or is it too early to assess? Let us know in the comments below.